she probably didn't want to hear me speak any longer than I have to. So, here we go. So, um, first off is senior Miss Kaylee Barucci. She uh, had a scheduling problem a few weeks into school where she was not able to continue on with chorus. Uh, she had to do with the math class or something. Yeah, uh, who cares about math? We just, yeah, musicians have to count to four, that's all. So, um, so she uh, was able to join us in uh, select singers and sing the chorus stuff that we sang. However, we were really strapped for time and we worked on Carnegie music a lot. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> so she had to put up with our select songs, and sometimes she'd be like, Can I sit in the back? Like, yeah, that's fine. And uh, she's probably working on her math, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, as, as uh, a Heartfelt uh, Award, uh, this certifies that Caleb Baruchi is awarded Honorary Select Singer. <laughs> And so, uh, this is to award her with those tricky thirds. <laughs> Alright. Next up is Senior Jonathan Chalet. Jonathan, uh, we share yeah, so there was one time where I was leaving school, albeit late, like most days, around 4.30 or 5 o'clock, and it was during Greece time, and they, the boys from Greece were throwing around the football, and Mr. Walker had pinned my car in so I couldn't leave. So the only way I could leave was that I could football around. So I started throwing the football. They didn't know I could throw. He's good. So yeah, thanks. So um, the next thing I hear about Jonathan's mouth is like the dad I never had. <laughs> and the joke spiraled from there. So for the first one. Very title of dad, um, you are awarded the Adopted Son Award. <laughs> Next up is Mike Garcia. <clears throat> Mike is a face. Had some hard times with music literacy in some of our quizzes. Oh, big time. <laughs> We worked on it. Anyway, and uh, I know he's a, he's a big movie buff, and uh, I am too, but he's, he's got a lot more on me. Uh, anyway, there's this um, movie with um, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, and Marilyn Monroe called Something Like It Hot. In which Jack Lemmon's character dresses up as a female. The last scene, they're on the boat. Osgood and the person who uh, Jerry uh, Chaplin plays. And uh, the scene goes something like this. I called Mama, she was always so happy, she cried, she wanted you to have her wedding gown, it's white lace. Osgood, I can't marry you and your mother's dress. She and I, well, we're not built the same way. We can have it altered. Oh, no, you don't. Look, Osgood, I'm gonna level with you. We can't get married at all. Well, to begin with, I'm not a natural blonde. It doesn't matter. And I smoke. I smoke all the time. I don't care. And I have a terrible past. For three years now, I've been living with a saxophone player. And I can never have children. Well, what happens? 
but you don't understand. And he rips off his wig. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> to which Jack the Clemens character uh, replies, well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> so Mike Garcia gets the, well, nobody's perfect award. <laughs> is the Senior Sound Co-House. Yes. He's been in the last for four years. Holly sits in the room, quite quiet, but when she opens her mouth... <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> the sound that comes out is loud and quite hot. And uh, so I suffer with a lot of the high notes, and especially at Carnegie and whatnot, so um, for making you do all that crazy breath support and singing the high, and here's for hitting those wicked high notes. <laughs> Next is senior Andrew Colbrand. Not only did I have the pleasure of having him in Select Singers this year, but also in Vocal Lab are my first semester. To which we were learning Italian. I don't think you want to sing that song. <laughs> but when we are learning German, there is a certain international phonetic character in the alphabet that looks like a C. That's a squiggly line going down. <laughs> to which Andrew replies, it looks like a balloon. So I complete the circle and draw this man who has a very long arm holding this balloon. And he's like, what is that? So, to which I replied, well, it's his balloon arm. It's like, I have a balloon arm. <laughs> she does this. Andrew, so, uh, the best balloon arm goes to... Let's the see it! Do it. Do it. <laughs> the next senior is in Kilimanjaro. Big personality. <laughs> and quite a large voice. Yeah. And some large burps sometimes. <laughs> I assure you. Anyway, but uh, this personality is quite larger than life. And if you've ever seen Sunset Boulevard, you'll know Joe Gillis says to Norma Desmond, You're Norma Desmond? You used to be in silent pictures. You used to be big. To which Norma Desmond replies, I am big, it's the pictures that got small. <laughs> so the Norma Desmond Award goes to the Man. The next senior is Beth Perna. Is because when I see the boss here, I see a person named Elizabeth next to Liz. The whole year. No. And I never used it. Anytime we went, even Grady's, I think it's was Liz. <laughs> so, anyway, she stood up and uh, filled a role in the alto section because I didn't have enough altos. And we had already learned most of the songs for our Veterans Day assembly and everything, and yet she took it upon herself to switch over to the outfits. So, just like this famous actress who is good in any role, and Beth Perna is good as a soprano as well as an alto, you get the Meryl Streep Award. Always eager to learn, ready to help out and volunteer and do anything. And uh, she's on my Twitter account. We, we tweet back and forth, and she's always so heavy and so sweet. So the uh, sweet as sugar award goes to Miss Rebecca Scott. <laughs> Next senior is. 
Gabriel C. Who? Who? Gabriel C. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'll get to that. Woo! Yeah. Oh, oh, so, game space. And, like most bases in a band, sometimes I'll be forgotten. Not forgotten, I mean, But always learning is part, always doing the And uh, if you know Paul McCartney, he uh, runs the Beatles, he wrote a lot of good songs, but uh, he's probably forgotten as a bass. So the Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney Award goes to Gabe Davis. Next senior is Megan Rumpel. <laughs> Megan is always quick to help out. She has been one of my right hand people to go to and uh, tell me anything that's going on. And uh, fix the course outfits and uh, keep together people in line. And, and always is so wonderful to me. So, and just like a mother to all of her fellow choristers, so the Mother Teresa Award goes to <laughs> Requires a bit of an explanation, but I'll make it. Next senior is Charlene Marquis. <laughs> As we were prepping for Carnegie and before we uh, never got a break from these kids, I decided, well, my body decided to have some nightmares at night. Uh, one Carnegie Hall fell into a sinkhole. There was a sinkhole happening in Washington that week or something. And uh, then I think the hotel blew up or something, and there was nothing left. So, but my favorite dream is <laughs> the first thing I come, and Charlene was like, I'll drive. She's driving Kayla Baruchi's van. <laughs> and she drives a group of us, and there's another bus in front of us, and we're trying to get there, and we end up in Italy. <laughs> she tips over the van. <laughs> And then we're instantly back at Burlington, and we get back there. And so for your, just like um, Sandra Bullock in Speed, <laughs> would not take her foot off the gas pedal, you get her character's name in that movie, the Any Porter Award. <laughs> Explanation, but I'm doing it as a group. Mr. Nicholas Silva, <laughs> Mr. Keith Walker, <laughs> Mr. Riley Waldron's not here, but there are three of them. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the movie The Three Amigos. <laughs> There's one line in it where Lucky Day says, "Well, we're just going to have to use our brains," and the other two say, "Well, darn it." <laughs> And so, one of my favorite lines is, uh, wherever there's injustice, you will find us. Another says, wherever there's suffering, we'll be there. The other says, wherever there's liberty is threatened, you will find the Three Amigos. So, named after the characters in the Three Amigos, Keith Walker gets the Lucky Day Award, Riley Waldron gets the Ned Nederlander Award, and Nicholas Silva gets the Dusty Bonds Award. <laughs> Other people aren't here, but uh, there's. I think that's it. Oh, okay, yeah, so uh, there's one more. <laughs> Mr. Yitzhak Fan. <laughs> Known for inciting a coup in my class at one point, trying to overthrow the dictatorship that is my class, apparently. Uh, to his uh, quite humorous voices of many different nationalities. Um, our June residents, which I will miss terribly. Uh, informative and corrective to a fault, although I correct them for a lot of stuff too. 
thinking he's always on faculty, which he is not. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to use our coffee machine, which we... Who uses coffee? Sometimes annoying, sometimes infuriating at times. <laughs> it's probably made me laugh the most this year, and tear up the most too, probably. <clears throat> so, the one thing that I may continue on for a while is the prestigious pine cones and holly berries. <laughs> Yitzhak is very fond of it. How's it going, Yitzhak? Go, 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 Seniors, now's your audition. One, two, one, two.